The pursuit of excellence is also part of our identity. This is a function of our size and lack of natural resources. If we want anyone to pay attention to us, if we want to have a place at the international table, if we are to secure our position in the world, then we have to be better than merely good. We have to be exceptional. And through our combined efforts as a people, we are. We are a tiny island of 719 square meters. We have a population of 5.5 million, of which 3.4 million are citizens. There are 193 member states in the United Nations. Almost all of them are bigger, more populous, and far more generously endowed with natural resources than we are. Yet we make our mark internationally. Hub status. Singapore is the world's busiest transshipment hub. In 2016, PSA Singapore was ranked best container terminal Asia. Changi Airport. In 2018, it was voted the world's best airport for the sixth consecutive year. SIA is the number one airline in the world. Singapore is the third most preferred seat of arbitration globally. Singapore is the fourth top financial center in the world. In global mobility, the Singapore passport is the most powerful in the world in terms of global mobility. Our water story has been an amazing one. We have taken the little we have and made it robust and sustainable. Singapore is a world leader in water recycling. In the 2017 benchmarking exercise by the European Benchmarking Cooperation Foundation, PUB was ranked in the top 10% of water utilities, benchmarked for compliance with applicable standards for drinking water tests and wastewater treatment plant compliance with discharge standards. We have one of the lowest unaccounted for water rates in the world, and PUB received the Stockholm Industry Water Award in 2007 and was named Water Agency of the Year in 2006 for being an exemplary model of integrated water management. Music, art and sport. Over the years, Singapore has had many child prodigies in music. Most recent is 11-year-old violinist Chloe Chua, who won first prize in the junior division of the Menuhin competition, the Olympics of Violin. Our designers are dressing Hollywood stars. Dojin's suits are worn, are worn by Robert Downey Jr., Chadwick Boseman, and Nick Jonas. So when Iron Man is not in his iron armor, he's in a Singapore suit. Heliopolis accessories clutch bags have been worn by Emma Roberts and Janelle Monet. Our sportsmen and women have done us proud. Joseph Schooling won our first Olympic gold medal. Yip Pin Siu and Teresa Go gold and bronze medals at the 2016 Paralympics. Jason Chi, table tennis gold at the ASEAN Paralympic Games. And we've scaled Everest. Dr. Kumaran Rasapan and also Noor Yus Yusrina Jakob the first Malay Muslim woman from Singapore to reach the world's highest peak. And we're not doing too badly in the fun stakes. Zouk is among the top clubs in the world. And the Manhattan Bar at the Regent Hotel is Asia's number one for the second year running. Not bad for a small little red dot that you can barely find on any world map. And this is not even the full list of our achievements. There are more which I will mention later. Now, some of you may have felt slightly uncomfortable during my recitation of this long list of achievements. If so, you are displaying another very Singaporean trait, which is modesty. We are not given to blowing our own trumpet or puffing ourselves up. If anything, we are embarrassed by praise and accolades. We tend to duck our heads and mumble something about just doing our duty. But this is not about chest thumping or bragging. This is about understanding the significance of what I have just listed. Those things could not have been achieved by any single person, organization, or the government acting alone. Those were achieved by the collective effort of Singaporeans, each contributing in different ways. To have been able to achieve all those things, despite the odds, despite our size, despite our lack of resources, tells you something about us. It tells you we are determined. It tells you we are resilient. We don't give up, not even when faced by seemingly insurmountable obstacles. 
We will turn a weakness into strength. It tells you that we are resourceful and entrepreneurial. We are the kind of people who will create something out of nothing based just on the power of an idea. It tells you we are innovative, able to adapt, to break new ground. If there is a worthy challenge, we will rise to the occasion and meet it. We were once told that we are just a little red dot, a remark that was meant to put us in our place and remind us how small we are. Instead, we took that label and we turned it into a badge of pride and a mark of excellence. <laughs>